Hey guys, a couple of months ago I made a Bluetooth speaker using a simple module that combined a Bluetooth receiver and an amplifier on a single board. It was just one of the many such boards that you can get from China for your do-it-yourself projects. But the thing is that some of these boards are just not very good, which is why I decided to make this video and quickly go over some of the other Bluetooth amplifier boards that I have in my stash. Ok, I'm going to start with this one, which I really wanted to like. It is the smallest that I have and it's powered by 5V from a USB port. You can power it with your cell phone charger or a power bank. In theory, it can deliver up to 3 watts per channel. That's all great, but as soon as you turn it on, you get this. Bluetooth mode. The Bluetooth device is ready to pick the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Now, I think that this super annoying notification is enough of a reason to never use this board in a project, but it gets worse. The board sounds terrible. There's this constant hissing noise in the background. So, overall, no, I cannot recommend this board. How about this one? This board is interesting because it comes with a battery charging circuit. The listing said that it delivers up to 6 watts per channel into a 6 to 8 ohm speaker, but that is probably not true given that it's powered by only 5 volts. That doesn't really matter because the board sounds terrible, just like the previous one. There's just too much noise. To me, this makes the board unusable, so I cannot recommend it. The next board that I'm going to show you is similar to the first one. It is powered by 5 volts over USB and it uses the same amplifier chip for up to 3 watts per channel. But just like the first board, it uses the annoying voice notifications every time you connect to it. The sound isn't great, but it's a bit cleaner compared to the previous two boards. There is still some noise, but to my ears it sounds like there is less of it. Still, this is not a board I would recommend. Now this board is different. It has two full range channels and a third channel with a low pass filter for a subwoofer. It uses a more powerful chip as well, but it requires a bigger power supply. The good news is that sound quality is acceptable with this one. There is very little noise compared to what I've heard so far. The only problem that I noticed was that there are beeping noises in the subwoofer channel. That's not good, but I think that they'll be less audible if you connect the amplifier to a proper subwoofer. Overall, I think that this board has some potential, and I might use it in a speaker project at some point in time. The next board that I have uses the same audio chip for up to 15 watts per channel, but it's a stereo board, there is no subwoofer output. If you want to, you can connect buttons to it to skip songs and control volume. There is even input for a microphone. Unfortunately, the board uses the annoying voice notifications. And please, if you know how to turn them off, do let me know in the comments. On the other hand, the sound quality is very good with this board. I think it is worth considering for a project. Finally, this is the biggest and most powerful Bluetooth amplifier board that I have. In theory, it produces up to 50 watts per channel, although I guess you might need a heatsink for that kind of power. This board could have been great, but there's a problem. The sound isn't good enough, I can hear beeping noises in the background. Now, I have to point out that I've had this board for over a year so newer revisions could have fixed the issue, but this version in particular I cannot recommend. In conclusion, the best thing about these Bluetooth amplifier boards is that they are very cheap, but at the end of the day you do get what you pay for. Some of them are ok for the price, 
But if you ever consider getting one of these for a project or to use it with your existing speakers, do keep in mind that sound quality might not be as good as you would expect. Thank you for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future videos.